Well, the race to become San Diego's next city attorney is getting a little more crowded today. A little more crowded by one. City Councilman Brian Mainshine is now throwing his hat in the ring. News 8 Steve Price is live in Rancho Bernardo with more on the Mainshine campaign. Steve. And you know, Dan and Janice Brian Mainshine is very popular in his council district for the way he dealt with the aftermath of two fires that came through his district, fires that destroyed over 700 homes, including the one you see behind me, that home now being rebuilt. Mainshine credited by a lot of residents for helping them get that rebuilding process started even faster. Now Mainshine hopes his experience handling the aftermath of the fires will make him San Diego's next city attorney. When we were at the one year mark after the Cedar Fire, where, where we were at that point, took Laguna Beach about five years to get to, and took Oakland about nine years to get to. Overseeing not one, but two rebuilding efforts takes passion and commitment. I will bring these traits to the city attorney's office. While formally announcing his candidacy today, Mainshine also talked about his ability to get people to work together, to help get the Highway 56 project jump started, and to preserve open spaces. Mainshine is the second council member to enter the race, joining Council President Scott Peters. They, along with Superior Court Judge Jan Goldsmith, appear to be the front runners, along with incumbent Michael Aguirre. Aguirre attacked Peters for his role in the pension mess. Mainshine knows he'll face those same comments from Aguirre. Here's his response. You know, mistakes happen, incidents happen. I never expected I'd have two fires. I mean, things happen in office. And it's what you do with it afterwards that, sh that really, I think, shows your measure. If you look at what we did after the pension, we created a pension review committee. We got two ballot measures passed to change the composition of the retirement board and to eliminate underfunding. Uh, we've, made, we've made more than the required payments into the pension system. Now, you might remember a couple of years ago, Mainshine considered running for mayor. At that time, he was able to collect a bunch of cash, cash he's been holding on to. So Dan and Janice, he actually starts his campaign now with quite a bit of money. The election not until the 3rd of June. Money that's going to be spent by a lot of candidates should be an interesting race. Yeah, that money is important, and the name recognition also important, like you said. And he has worn many hats in his duties with the city, so we'll have to see what happens. Steve Price reporting live for us in Rancho Bernardo. Thank you, Steve.